This is going to be a short video that we're going to put in our destination fluence series. It's about these two prepositions here, the preposition two and four. Well, you know that sometimes these two prepositions are interchangeable. You can use one or the other and they mean basically the same thing. But that's not what I want to show you today. I want to show you a situation in which both prepositions can be used in a sentence and both sentences will be grammatically correct but they will convey they will communicate very different messages okay so i brought this picture here just to illustrate uh, so this is jay oliver and in this kind of a ted talk he, he talks about uh the way americans eat and 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 basically what the idea that he's trying to sell is that the kind of food that these people eat is killing them because they're they're becoming very overweight so in this picture here for example he shows he puts on the table the kind of uh, food that this woman's family they eat on a regular week because all they eat is stuff like that uh, pizzas burgers hot dogs and stuff like that and he's trying to show them that this is going to kill them Okay, so imagine a situation like that. So the kids come home for dinner and there's nothing like that on the table. She's not going to serve that kind of food anymore. She's going to serve them healthy, nutritious food like vegetables, salads and lean meat, for, for instance. But her kids get upset and ask her, Hey, mom, why are you doing this to us? And she replies by saying, no, I'm doing this for you. So what is the message there? Well, when the kids say, hey, mom, why are you doing this to us? Well, the preposition to conveys that message that whatever she's doing is something negative. In other words, it's action which is intended to hurt them. But when she says, I'm not doing this to you, in other words, I'm not doing this because I want to hurt you, actually, I'm doing this for you. And then the message that the preposition for encapsulates, it's, it's, it's a message, it's a positive message. In other words, she is saying, well, I'm doing this for you because I want to protect you. I don't want you to die of obesity related diseases, for example. And basically, this is what this example is all about. Okay, and then the other day I was watching another series, Modern Family, and there was this scene here. But this time, it's not with the verb to do. Like, okay, why, why are you doing this to me? In this case, one of the characters, Claire, she uses a different verb. And I want you to, to watch this with me. Well, usually at the end of every episode, there is a, a message about the topic of that particular of that particular story of that particular episode so watch this i think it's quite interesting what happens here we do strange things to the people we love we lie to them we lie for them so that's it that's the only part i want to show you so she says something like this we do strange things for the people we love and then she says we lie to them and we lie for them so for example when we lie to them we would tell them something that is not true in a way we hurt them we, we we lie to them because i don't know we want to hide something and it's usually a negative thing but sometimes we lie for them and then it's for a good cause we lie for them because we want to protect them so let's think about an example like that. So suppose you have a kid, you know, like in this family, there are lots of kids and their dog, their pet dog dies and they die and, and their pet die in horrible circumstances. And the parents decide not to tell them exactly what happened in order to spare them. So it's a lie. They lie for them because their objective is to protect them. We do strange things to the people we love. We lie to them, we lie for them. 
We lie to them. We lie for them. So, for example, imagine a parent lying to their kids that they can't get, have, um, um, I don't know, they can't, uh, they can't get the Christmas presents that they want and simply because he's embarrassed. So imagine a, a daddy, a father who's embarrassed because uh, he lost his job. So he's embarrassed. So he lies to them. So the, what he's telling them is something that is not true and it's not a good thing. But then if you think about it, he's lying for them. Why? Because, they, because he wants to protect them. He doesn't want them to suffer, you know, by learning the truth. So, two, to do something to someone carries a negative message. You know, it's like it's intended to hurt. It's intended to damage. When you do something for someone, it's intended to be some sort of protection. You do that for them, to protect them, because you care about them. And basically, that's it. Okay? So, I hope you found this, this, this tip useful, because it's really interesting. The same sentence with the same verb can be used with either one of these prepositions, but they mean exactly opposite things. So, when you lie to someone, you tell them something that it's not true, and, then, and this can be bad for them. When you lie for them, it's because you're trying to protect them. And basically, that's it.